search uh, NYTM, which is our hashtag, it's either uh, stop asking about business models or let's see some technology, or at least that's what I'm thinking. So, exactly, it's the tech meetup, not the business meetup. Well, uh, I think this one's going to do... Uh, do you a solid because I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, John, come up and show them what you're thinking about in terms of Twilio. Hi everyone, um, it's a real pleasure to be here. My name is John Britton, and I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. Um, thank you. We already have some fans, I guess. Uh, so Twilio is, is phone services in the cloud. So we allow you to build apps that send and receive text messages and make and receive phone calls. And the way it works is you start off with a phone number. Okay, so you can either bring your own phone number into the platform or buy one right from us. Um, when somebody, one of your customers calls the number, we actually create a web request and send it out to a web app that you build using technology of your choosing. Uh, and we pass along some extra information. And then we, your web app responds with some directions uh, in XML format just to say what we should do with the call. And then uh, we actually relay those actions back to the phone and make them happen. Um, so that's all I'm gonna show you as far as how it works. And we're gonna start by building an app if this works. Okay, I think my session died. Let's make this bigger, just one second. All right, so Twilio New York Tech Meetup. And we're gonna open up a file called conference.php and I'm gonna write it for you right now, header. <laughs> <laughs> faster, faster, I know, I know. All right, so we've got a header in there just to signify this is XML that we're gonna respond with and we're going to uh, create a response tag and then a say tag that will just speak welcome to the New York Tech Meetup. All right, and then after we say that, what we wanna do is we wanna dial into a conference. Okay, so we'll just type dial conference. All right, and we'll call it New York Tech Meetup. All right, so that, that's our... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, yep, yep. All right. All right, so... So what, what this does, what this does is it creates a conference room called New York Tech Meetup. And if you would all take your phones out of your pockets, turn the ringers on, um, I'm going to add one more piece in here, which is just echoing a random number. Um, so that we don't all end up in the same conference room, because uh, that would just be crazy. Um, so if that all worked, I'll hop over to Firefox, and we can preview this in the browser. And you'll see that it just created a conference room that says, you know, New York Tech, Tech Meetup 47. If I refresh it, it's a different number. Um, so we can take this URL, log into Twilio, and provision a number live. So we're going to say New York, and unfortunately there are no 212 numbers left in New York. So we'll say 646. Find me a number. No six four six either. Let's say five one eight. All right. So we can just paste the URL in here. Oh, there we go. And purchase the number. And if you all dial into that number, we'll be in a conference. And I'll do the same thing. Let's see if it works. My AT&T is not working. <laughs> who, who, who's on the conference right now? Raise your hands. Okay. Give me one second. I'll dial it one. I'll dial it one more so you can hear. Actually, can you hear me now? I was worried that this was going to like break AT&T and Verizon.
Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad you guys got into the conference. I didn't get into it. Um, so thanks, everybody, for calling in. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you one more quick demo of our REST API. So I have this file here called numbers.php. What it does is I'll take the phone number that we provisioned and hop back over. Oh, I hear another conference over there. And I'll just put in the number that we just created and save the file. And what this does is it just goes to our REST API and gets a list of all the calls that were made to this number and prints out all of your phone numbers on the screen. <laughs> so will this reload? There we go. So I, I obfuscated the last two digits of all the numbers uh, just so that I wouldn't you know, take away your privacy. And <laughs> Now, for all of you that actually did get through, I was hoping everybody would get through, but you didn't. Um, for everybody did, that did get through, we can go and actually do something with those numbers. And I just have a snippet down below. And what it does is it will call all of you. If I refresh this page, so now you can see it's calling. I asked you to turn on the ringers. There they go. So give it a second, they'll start ringing. Okay, cool. So uh, what's gonna happen there is it's gonna connect you to this uh, follow-up XML response that just says, follow me on Twitter, follow up to Twilio on Twitter. We're hiring, um, we're looking for engineers and lots of other people, and we have a monthly meetup in New York. One, there's one coming up on August 24th. I would love to see some of you there. Um, and that's the demo. Great. Right on, man. That's a job. Thank you. Very cool. That was nice. Uh, questions? Why do I need it? Why do you need it? Here. Okay. <laughs> um, you can't live without this. Every app needs to be fun. <laughs> Phone and SMS enabled. Um, there are a few. So there are a few startups in New York City. Uh, Venmo, I think, is one, and another one called Grouply. They're doing some really cool stuff. There's a lot of people out here using it, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of applications for this stuff. That's a good question. Does it work for international? Um, so we have international dialing. Um, right now, we don't have support for uh, international phone numbers. So you can call anywhere in the world, um, but you can't actually get numbers from anywhere in the world right now. Does somebody on the balcony have a question? Yeah, yeah go for it. Uh, are you a GUI for it? Oh, I love that you asked that question because that's, that's a perfect, huh? Oh, so we're going to develop a GUI. Actually, we already have. We have, a, um, we have an open source app called OpenVBX. Um, it's written in PHP, um, here we go, dot .org. Here we go. So there you go. Um, so what you can do is you can download this and you run it on your own web server. It uses the exact same Twilio API as I just demoed, um, but it puts 80% of the work, it does 80% of the work for you. So you can actually just drag and drop little widgets that say create a menu, press one for sales, press two for support, um, give a voicemail, send it to this group of users. It's got all that stuff already baked in and there's a great developer's API for uh, creating your own applets. We actually have over 35 developer contributed applets and we've only released a project like Two months ago, a month and a half ago. Do you have there you more, go. more questions? Yeah, yeah take another one. Um, somebody over. Go ahead. Do you have voicemail protection? Uh, we have transcription service. Um, so what happens is when we re oh, do we have voicemail uh, detection? So what happens is when a voicemail is recorded, we kick it off to a batch process, which will actually do voice recognition and create a text transcript, um, and then you can send it in a text message similar to the way like Google Voice does it. And one more. What's one of the favorite applications you built on th that has been built on top of it? Uh, so I'll give you one really cool success story. There was a company called um, Precision Polling that built a um, like a real time voting app. And what it did is you could put on the screen like, hey, I have these four choices, and I could say, everybody in here, text message me one, two, three, or four, and in real time it would update. And then uh, they actually just got acquired by SurveyMonkey. So. That's a really good success story of a great product. There are hundreds and hundreds more, so you should check out our blog. There are tons of customer stories on there. Great, John, amazing stuff. Awesome demo. Thank you. Yeah.